Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to be learning how to inspect and install spark plugs in your car as well as some of the best practices for installation. Now in the service manual for my 1999 Acura Integra it recommends changing the spark plugs every 30,000 miles. This video will be the second of a three video campaign where I've teamed up with AutoZone to show how simple and cost effective some preventative maintenance tasks can be. Your first step is to simply disconnect the wires from the spark plugs. After doing so, it's a good idea to inspect the spark plugs to make sure no water or debris rests above them as this will fall into your engine cylinders if you remove the plugs. Make sure the area is clean before proceeding. There are magnetic sockets which are very useful in removing the spark plugs. There's also other kinds out there that you can use. Use a socket wrench to pull out the first spark plug. After you've removed the plug, you can inspect it to see if it needs replacing. There's several things you'll want to look for. The electrode may be worn out, you may often see it rounded rather than flat. You want to check the plug gap using a simple tool. For my car, the recommended gap is 1.1 millimeters. You can check your owner's manual for this information. You want to look for oil fouling or carbon deposits around the spark plug tip. It's also a good idea to inspect the gasket where the plug seals with the head and make sure the electrode insulator is not cracked. It's important to replace the plugs with what the manufacturer recommends. I purchased these four OEM NGK plugs for less than $10 at AutoZone based on what my owner's manual recommends. NGK recommends not using any anti-seize compounds on the plugs as the lubricant may cause the installer to over torque the plug. The NGK plugs have a zinc shell plating that is designed to prevent seizure to the cylinder head as well as prevent corrosion. Often plugs with a shiny appearance have a special coating thus not requiring the use of anti-seize. Cheaper plugs with a darkened or dull appearance typically will not have a special plating and in this case it is recommended to use anti-seize. The difference in price between these two plugs was literally just 40 cents so it's an obvious choice to go with the OEM plug. Before installing the plugs, go ahead and check the plug gap to make sure they are within spec, especially if the plugs did not come pre-gapped. There are multiple tools available for checking this. Again, the recommended gap for my car is 1.1 millimeters, and as you can see this plug meets that requirement using the gap gauge. It's best practice to use a torque wrench when installing the plugs. For this vehicle the spec is 13 pound feet. It's also ideal to hand tighten the plug to get it started and install the plugs on a cold cylinder head as this reduces the risk of cross threading and thus damaging the cylinder head. If you do not know the torque spec for your specific vehicle, my owner's manual recommends turning the plug two thirds of a turn after the spark plug contacts the cylinder head. You can also check the box of the spark plugs for the recommended torque specs. I would always recommend checking what the manufacturer's spec is and using a torque wrench. When placing the plug wire back on, it can be helpful to apply a small amount of dielectric grease to the inside of the plug wire where it fits over the ceramic portion of the spark plug. This makes removal of the plugs easy in the future and also helps to ensure the current from the wire only sparks at the electrodes of the spark plug. Connect the wire back to the spark plug and repeat these steps for the remaining cylinders and you're good to go. The total cost to do this repair myself, including the cost of the plugs, gap tool, and dielectric grease came to $15 at AutoZone. Obviously you'll need the tools as well, but these are items you might already have, so I've excluded that from the cost. So a big thank you to AutoZone for sponsoring the video and thank you all for watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below.